Hi guys, Bill Jordan here. I'm at 201-790-3368. If you're a sculptor, painter, or candlestick maker, this is where you need to be. People buy from people they know. And the best way for them to know you is with my candid video interview, because people buy from people they know, right? And my candid video interview gets them to know you on the soul level. The soul level is where you really want to go. And because we, because we meaning me, have certain training that helps that happen, that's why you want to use me. And before, the last clip, I was talking about what I was doing since I was three. What was I doing since three? Well, since three, you know, I've been looking for this guy. Hmm. There's this guy, and I check this out, man. This is storytelling. One day, <clears throat> my mother comes to me, and she shows me this guy, this long beard, you know, with a white robe, with a white face and everything, you know. He's on this rock, and he's looking up like he's expecting something. And she says, this is uh, whatever she said, I forgot. And she said, he died for your sins. I'm three years old, I'm thinking, what are you talking about, man? What have I done that was so bad? I, I didn't mean to, I know I did something the other day, but the guy had to die for that? Oh, heavy guilt trip, right? So then I said, well, let, let me take a, a, a reference check on this thing, man, because I've never seen anybody like this before. This is, this is like brand new. So I go out to the window, to the living room there, and I look across the street, and there's a guy over there. I, I, it wasn't Mr. Silas, it was somebody. I forgot the guy's name, but you know he had suspenders on, he had a straw hat, and he had you know you know white and tan shoes on, you know, brogan white and white and tan shoes. He was decked, man. I never seen a guy like this before with the, with the beard, man, and the and the long thing. Who's this? So then she says. You know, we're going to go to church. I said, what's that? I said, I said, well, is that where he lives? He says, yeah, that's where he lives. I said, cool, man. I want to meet this guy, man. Right? Wouldn't you want to meet him? <laughs> so, so we go to this place, right? And we have to sit up in the top. I kind of suspect it must have been a segregated church or something. I don't really know, man. But anyway, we had to sit at the top. And I'm looking down. I, I'm looking, where is this guy? Where is he? I mean, he never showed up. Right? It's his house. He never shows up. Now, what would you think about that? That's why I say I've been looking since I was three. <laughs> God never showed up, man. You know? It even got worse. Had my first Holy Communion, right? Got to go through that process. I'm in the RCism, you know, the Roman Catholic thing. I was into that. You got to go to confession, confess all your sins, you know, then you get the, the communion, right? I figured, man, I'm going to be on cloud nine when I get this thing. Well, I'm going to be like, whoa, man, I'll be like, whoa, moonwalking or whatever it is. I got the wave from man. I'm thinking, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm waiting for it to happen. Nothing happened. I said, maybe I didn't tell the right enough confessions. <laughs> I better go do another one. <laughs> that went on for like <clears throat> a couple of years. I said, nah, this ain't working. How do you rationalize that stuff, you know? Anyway, I've been looking since I was three. I got to this point now where I have a fairly good understanding of how it works. That's why I can say, call me on 201-790-3368. <laughs> I do candid video interviews, all right? <laughs> and my interviews hit the people on the soul level, all right? So call me, 201-790-3368. Peace out.